Now we're going to start. This is my presentation, fantastic. A project by Ben, which is a swinging project. Uh, those are the settlements, uh, the vulnerable settlements. We call them uh, villas, and just like favelas in Brazil. But this is a project where there's a lot of people working, and this is a, a team made by uh, made by Pablo Rizzo, some of the educators in the museum, some people from the university as well. As I was telling you, Projecto by Ben tries to promote access and democratize democratization of culture, and not thinking about democracy as, a, as going to vote, but as a reflection, a critical and crea creative reflection. And for this, we articulate three places, or three spaces which are important, the Evita Museum, the University, and the La Casita Museum, which is the one we just saw in this settlement. So what do we talk about when we talk about museums? I think an image uh, is worth more than a, a thousand words. This is the mu Museum Evita, and this is La Casita, the Little House Museum. The Evita Museum represents the highest, uh, uh, the house where the highest aristocracy lived, uh, was taken by, by the government in 2007 in order to build a museum, and the museum it was a government decision uh, to for it to be an art museum. And the La Casita Museum, the Little House Museum, is, is a museum where we carry out our community act artistic practices for a while now. And it became a community museum after having worked a lot on the relationships and links between people. This is very important uh, because on the first year, we were actually, they, they stole things from us. And on the second year, they were actually taking what they stole from other places. And then the third year, they're actually taking care of us. Uh, th they're always there, so nobody takes anything away from the museum. What do we talk about when we talk about uh, Villa, Villa El Nylon, the illegal settlement El Nylon, which is uh, the place where these places, uh, the museum is. This is uh, sometimes we think, what is the biggest misery we have here? There is no running water, uh, there is no electricity, uh, that you just have waste uh, uh, everywhere. Uh, there is violence, gender violence, uh, institutional violence, urban violence, uh, rights vulneration. Uh, drug consumption, desertion, um, school desertion, and uh, a lot of other criminal-related items, uh, uh, activities, and health is something impossible. Can you imagine this in a, in, a, in, a, in a very rainy season? Cordoba has a very similar climate to here. When we talk about violence, we, we're talking about people who are actually hitting each other in front of us, and we have to tell them, hey, that's not right. So what do we pretend with this community museum? Uh, to go to the territory, but also a lived experience, we um, remain there and we stay there with it. It's difficult to tell uh, a story about our territory where the police does not go there. The Minister of, of Safety t told me, I, I can't believe you're going there. I go there with my own things and they don't, they're not stealing from me. They actually say hello with a lot of love. Creating for enjoying, uh, for enjoyment. It's something, th it's, it's a notion that when we proposed it, it was felt like it was a very eccentric idea. That we have people who are actually lacking the most basic things, and you're thinking about art and creating art. Yes, we are. Uh, another thing that they are lacking, that they're missing, is creativity and not having access to culture. This little house works as a space or a place where communities started to. Uh, showing their own position on things and the symbolic positions on things. Uh, between uh, uh, Blaine and the other, they were actually uh, shooting each other. Now we can all be together there without violence and coexisting. We talked about, uh, we also worked with a community of brick makers. These are uh, uh, a community that where the one who knows the most is the, the boss. Um, children are loved there and they run everywhere. But when we went, went to uh, propose uh, an exchange of know-how and knowledge. Uh, they knew how to make bridge and bricks, and we knew about art, but we thought about you know, getting together and told them, we, we can teach you something, and you teach us something back. And that's how uh, the visit to the museum started. So we invited teenagers to be part of and come to the museum once, to the Museum Evita Museum. 
why do we call it the teenagers club because first we thought about a uh, journalists uh, club and they were all coming to the museum and they were all coming to write and we realized that they were writing and they and you know they went and, and look at look at the museum very quickly and they just wanted to spend their time writing so this is something very interesting from different five places uh, different uh, set uh, settlements these illegal settlements uh, we got them together when they when we told them that we're going to get together with the other population with the other communities they started discriminating each other and said no oh, those are some they're blacks those are some negroes and we told them that the, you know that was there was no discrimination here and we've never had any violence or any acts of violence in the museum with these visits they the communities were actually interviewing the artists that were exhibiting their work at the museum we have pablo sol who are the coordinators of this museum and that's jose luis torres is a an artist from Cordoba who lives in Canada. And I love telling this because he created a site-specific uh, um, work. And people, uh, they, they told him, do you think the people are just going to think that this is, this is a you know, different uh, tube uh, um, piping? Yes. And this is a creative example. OK, but they just told me I ran out of time. Sorry. And this is a project uh, which is the embroiders of the museum, and we created a catalog with them um, there. And these are the women of the settlement, this legal settlement. These are the women who actually the ones that work the most in the community, but actually are all the mo also the most invisible. So how did this project start? The person on the left with that wonderful uh, blue um, um, dress said, I, I'm not worth anything, I can't do anything, I'm useless. So what we started do, to do, we, we started going to the museum and she said to me that she was actually embroidering these uh, different uh, dresses for the parties, for the community parties, and I asked her to come and uh, teach us how to do this embroidery. And this is a very horizontal project where everyone teaches everyone everything. This is a place where the women from the high society, from the aristocracy, will go together to do uh, this embroidery work. And we started to think about the project. And th on the second year, uh, when I showed them this artist, uh, Fernando Fader, uh, who uh, uh, you know, uh, paints us uh, about the embroiders, uh, and, and somebody said, uh, you know, they're working, and we come here for art. Th that's what was said by Andrea. Uh, we. Uh, we did an exhibition, we had an exhibition, which is wonderful, and we told about this project. And th this year we decided to, uh, to choose loneliness and its counterpoint. I took this uh, phrase from Fabio without knowing Fabio was going to be here today, because I thought it was the trigger for many ideas that I want to tackle this year. The museum is a detonator for, for, detonator for possibilities, um, for constructions, the, uh, for the construction of meaning, building of meaning, and the building of identities. We traveled to Santa Fe. Many of these people had never come out of their communities, and now we actually came out of, went out of the state to a different state. We went uh, to get together with a, another uh, group of embroiders, and we saw the uh, Chacho Giannone uh, exhibition. We exhibited our work as well. And that's our work. And I would like to finish. It's gone. Sorry, what happened? I'd like to end um, with a phrase by Mario Chavez. And museology that does not l uh, work for life, it's, it doesn't work for anything. If you want, if you let me, I'm going to read so, uh, something that was written by Andrea, an educator in, in the museum. She said something which is wonderful and would like to share it with you. This uh, robotic times with some powerful countries practice uh, science fiction, uh, developing uh, spaceships. Uh, Fatima, uh, 13 years old. Uh, and so they actually go on a lift for the first time. And they were so happy, they were screaming, and they were adventurous. And that those. Uh, the cries of happiness uh, sound and echo in the halls of the music.